Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I hope you're all doing well in this quarantine season, finding some cool things to do or just, you know, getting by. That's sometimes all you can ask for. So yeah, anyway, in this episode, uh, we mess around a bit more on Korriban, but there were some things I needed to take care of off planet. So eventually we're going to hop off and run to... you'll have to see. <laughs> But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And this isn't the end, but we're gonna rather get started. So I'll see you in a second. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I forgot. We died with that guy. So. Also. No silent E. It's a name. Okay. <laughs> so. On YouTube, <laughs> you'll have seen me go in there and die. But what we're going to do is turn back around because what I realize I need to do is I need to do personal missions for a variety of people. Uh, I need to talk to Jolie, Johanny, well, Karth. Karth we're pretty good on, but like Candorous, we have to go meet somewhere with somebody. HK. Uh, HK has been on Tassination and already was damaged, but does not know who originally sent him. So, and now HK is at the point where I can't um, up like fix him anymore. I have to actually take him out and get like he needs to be like triggered in some way. Have I met anyone called Shavon Shavona before? No. But I've it's a it's a fairly popular name in books, you know. So like people who like to take like Celtic Gaelic inspirations. At least the, the Gaelic version is. It's really common there, really. Shivone. I like it, it's pretty if I'm saying it right. Again. Oh, HK is tied to the main story progression? Okay. Um, oh, should I, I haven't even, I haven't even done this yet. I haven't talked to Uthar about the code yet. Maybe I should, I probably should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many quests now. Jeez, and they're all, most of them are like freaking... And I, yeah, I learned, I forgot, I had forgotten about this, honestly, the double cross, um, until I edited those last few episodes just recently, um, where we teamed up with Uthara, but potentially we're gonna, we're gonna double cross the double crosser on her. Mission. I might. I don't even know if I can actually go and talk to these people yet. I don't know if anything big enough has happened for me to go back and talk to everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Well, and this one doesn't even bring up the thing that that Candor is 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 like been like freaking told to meet up, square up, you know. You're trying to escape. I did that. Did I, did I have to go back and talk to them? Uh. I didn't do this on Manon. Oh my gosh. I'm just way too scatterbrained. Okay, here we go. Jaggy, Yaggy, Jaggy's challenge. Jaggy claims, all right, has duel with him in the dune seas of Tatooine. Whoa. <laughs> Not my thing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, I just need to think for a second. I'm sorry. I need to decide if I want to continue doing more Cory Bond stuff 
I should probably I should probably go talk to Uthar because that makes him I should have done that way long ago I need to go talk to Uthar and then I'll probably head out and do at least do Candorus's challenge and then we'll come back how's that sound that was a very polite refusal by the way Rain. I just want to I want to just I just want to say like you know somebody ever asks you that in real life you can just say not my thing and and that was very polite <laughs> one of the old republic trailers literally starts with jennifer hale saying corbon whoa okay can i just i don't want to return to ebon hawk yet okay i want to go talk to so we got we got our butts we got our butts kicked by that guy the hermit and I want to go talk to um, Uthar instead so I've come out here essentially what happened is I came out here explored a little and then I'm going back <laughs> because I technically died okay also the quality is much better I don't know if any of you oh hey is this the cave let me go talk to those kids again because apparently I need to talk to them and tell them I cleared the way which I thought I did <clears throat> So let's just go, if all the enemies have respawned, I'll be mad. Where's the, near, 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 renegade Sith, okay. Technically died, you know, in a lot of things, technically died means there, there's, there's still some, uh, there's still some ways, there's still ways. Oh yeah, we said lightning for these guys was, was good. Oh wait, and am I wearing, did I change, I, I should, I should be good. Yes, I'm wearing the dark Jedi robe. You perfect, perfect, excellent, excellent. Now you get it. Whoa, what is, what was that? Why was, every, why was everything all wobbly? I didn't like it. Oh dang! Come a little close. Come a little closer. You asked for this. Don't. Don't. Some power. Yeah, no. I I assume it was a power effect. I just didn't know which one it was. So, yeah. No. Whoa! Whoa! Wait. What? What happened? I thought I took the. I must have missed the right turn. Oh well, this is fine. Back this way. I've already looted everything in here. Look at that water! Look at the water effects! Woo woo woo! Water, water. I know, okay, no, seriously, seriously, Rain. I'm, I am the worst archaeologist on the planet because I have a very difficult time with directions <laughs> especially in the beginning especially in the beginning I was just literally getting oh it was the worst so is there news is the passageway uh -huh. clear sorry you too you might hear me munching mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's clear yep we can go thank you this, I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with it. I just had a terrible thought. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank Ooh, you again. fancy. You've saved our lives. Fancy bow. Okay, I'm, I'm really hoping that that, um, that big monster that we took out didn't respawn as well. I'm also not carrying pistols with shorts and tank top. Carrying pistols in the field would probably get me into more trouble than it would avoid. We, we come across a lot of angry ranchers who have their own guns and sometimes aren't afraid to use them. Or at least brandish them about. Or threaten to use them. I think most archaeologists I know don't carry. But they uh, many of them do have guns. 
Also, it's technically, like, not technically, technically, but I think the company technically frowns upon it. I don't think you're not allowed to. It's just one of those don't ask, don't tell things. But I think we were, one of us was packing when we were in Yellowstone, just in case, I think. No, no, I think, no, because a pistol's not going to do frick, frick all against a bear. So, I don't think so. We, had, we all have bear spray, though. <laughs> what can I do? On, right? Okay, here, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. My company technically found somebody carrying guns, too. Hey. <laughs> yeah, but yours probably doesn't have a, a don't ask, don't tell policy. <laughs> Which is somewhat uncomfortable, honestly, but... I do know I do know a couple guys I've worked with will bring their guns out and um, just do like some target practice sometimes, but um, it's not something I'm particularly comfortable with. But I trust most of those dudes to not shoot our brains out in the middle of the night. Um. Also, Rain, you try scrabbling through freaking sagebrush and greasewood and pinion juniper and sand in shorts and a tank top like dude let me just tell you i'm i literally dress oh in like a hundred plus degree weather i have i have lightweight but durable pants on big old heavy boots and i wear like a lightweight long sleeve like no part of my skin is show i have to put sunscreen on my face which i don't even have to do that because i wear a hat like a big wide brim hat and my hands <laughs> And that's it because <laughs> it sucks okay so we did that quest how exciting now i have to go talk to uthar yeah we're going the right way oh yeah did she she in the new Lara croft movie she waltzes into the shop in london England, and buys a gun well wasn't that like a, a shop that was like had like a back room or something like wasn't the gun like the guns weren't like on display were they I mean, maybe I just was like, oh, yeah, Murka, Murka, you just walk into freaking Walmart, you could buy a gun. I'm not even joking. You can buy guns at Walmart. Like, <laughs> oh, man, just anybody. Anybody can just waltz on in and buy themselves a Walmart gun. It was a pawn shop? I see. Don't you guys have a somewhat stricter regulation? Yeah, <laughs> it's not legal here? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay, where is Uthar hiding? Bedroom. My bedroom. You have to have lots of permits and be a farmer? <laughs> what? Why do farmers get guns? I think he's directly in this, like, center room. Wait, where is he in this room? No, he's in the cent He's in the big central room. A soldier or a certain type of police or something, yeah. I mean, I don't even know. I guess your police don't really carry guns re regularly, do they? Let's all just carry lightsabers. How about that? All right, here we go. Actually, let me save. Because I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, Utar. Utar. Utar Raptor is actually a thing. Utar Raptor. Uh, it's a small... It's a species of... Um, of dinosaur. What am I trying to say? Uthar Pendragon. To shoot wolves mostly. Do you freak? Do, what? Do you guys even have wolves anymore? I thought you guys didn't have wolves in England anymore. Either five, or it's a five year mandatory sentence for any gun. Yeah, if you want a gun in Estonia, you gotta go through training course with the police and psychological. If you want to conceal and carry in the U.S., you have to go through a conceal and carry course. Otherwise, if you don't take a conceal and carry course, you have to wear the gun, obviously, on your hip or on your shoulder or slung across your back. It has to be visible. You can't hide it unless you have a conceal and carry permit, which is not any better i really don't think because i have literally been to a small town and i may have said this before already but i've been to a small town in the middle of where the frick were we we were in 
actually Utah. We were in like a very small town, Utah, like northern Utah. No, southern Utah. We were actually close. We were close-ish to Zion um, National Park. And um, we were driving down the road through this town, and we literally saw a guy walking down the road with a girl with a, with a, like, I don't know if it was a fully automatic, which I don't know if those are technically illegal here, but it was, a, it was at least, it was an AK-47. Some kind of AK-47. Like, massive, like, repeating gun. Like, just slung across his back. Wasn't a pistol, wasn't a rifle, it was an AK-47. I was like, who the frick in small town nowhere needs an AK-47? Like, put it away. Is that woman okay? Like, I literally was worried. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, you're due! You're, you're bringing back wolves! It's so exciting! The, the Yellowstone Initiative for bringing back wolves has, has gone really, really well, so I hope it goes well for you. You do not fear wolves, only badgers, and particularly aggressive squirrel. <laughs> my children. <laughs> Those gun straps on her bare legs would chafe. I know, it's so terrible. Okay, I should probably I should probably play the game. Alright, here we go. Ready? We're playing the game now. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Uh, I know what Coda said. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Uh, oh, dang it! There is only strength? Oh, frick, Rain, it's strength, right? It's been a while. No, passion. Peace is a lie, there's only passion. Uh... Uh... I'm, she, I'm pretty sure it's passion, actually. Yeah, passion, okay. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yes, Good. Okay. Good. Woo! You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the force. Uh, no. I feel like this is a trick question. Uh, the force like does its own thing technically, but our use of the force is fueled by passion. Um. Uh. For, um. I feel like it's a trick question, it's not gonna do false. No. Dang it! It's true. Our passion, our hate. I overthought it. That is what brings conflict, which gives us power. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Oh, dang it. I wanna know some more about you. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends? Reload? Thought? I thought I about it. I many years to hone my power until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same or better. There is nothing else you need to yeah, know. I knew it. Do not ask again, young one. I'll be on my way. Indeed. You have much to do yet. Yeah, I think, I think I, what, what? Journal entry added. What? Oh, mm, what? Oh, it was just one completed, technically? Uh -huh. Okay. They didn't quite perfected natural movement at this point. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I will reload. No big deal. This is the, this is the advantage of a video game. Cause I did, I was overthinking Greetings, it. Like it's, one. it was such a dumb question that I, I overthought it because like, obviously, yes, 
like they believe passion fuels the force, like their like use of the force. But I thought he meant maybe like the force itself, because the force itself itself exists. Uh, but we the the Sith and Jedi just manipulate it, and like their emotions or peace or whatever is what fuels the, their own use of the force. So I overthought it, because it seemed like a really dumb question. Then f peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through pack. I gain strength. Through. St I gain power. Through pa power. I gain victory. Vi My chains are broken. The force. Yes. Tell me then. Whoa! It's a different question! Tell me then, true or false, there is nothing worse than love. Oh my gosh, why is it a new question? Why is it a new question? Ah. Uh, I mean, when I was talking to Uthara, she said that love isn't necessarily bad, um, but love, love can lead to, like, anger and, like, whatever but it can also lead to mercy so i don't know ray tell me the answer because i don't want to reload again i think again i'm overthinking it i think and i think it's false there's nothing worse than love mercy is worse than love but love can lead to mercy but it can also lead to like anger so i don't know false okay good i was right i was right well done yeah <laughs> You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Well, love can be passion. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. But, like, I remember, I remember, this was a year ago, honestly, but, um, Euthara says that when I ask her how, how they feel about love, because I did bring up passion, she's like, love isn't terrible. Because it can lead to like, um, it can lead to darker emotions as well, and it can, it can fuel a passion, but it can also lead you to mercy, which is bad, which is like the worst thing ever. So, mm-hmm. Love can be exploited, yeah. Okay. Time to go. Actually, well, well, I can't do that here. I don't get out of here. It's behind me. Yeah, okay, this is fine. And maybe I'll see about talking to people, which I know this is like, I, I should have done, before I got really involved in the Sith Academy, I should have done something I should have done some of these side stuff, but. But. You know, we're gonna do a quick break in the story and, uh, freaking run around. Because I was told it's a good idea to get. I remember. Well, I was told forever ago it's a good idea to get the side quests, like the, the personal side quests, done before Corbin. Okay. Let's see if I can talk to Candorous. I've been given a challenge right, okay. I can't ignore. We've got to go to the dune seas of Tatooine so I can find Jaggi and kill him for his insult to me. This is all we're going to be talking about. What happened out there? Why is Jaggi so mad at you? This is between me and Jaggi. Oh, we yeah, that's right. I remember him saying that. If we're lucky, he'll talk. Uh, okay. Uh, HK, I think he's good. Um... I think you're good. Mm. Oh, okay. Our froggy boys are back. The main in main story, Dan Tween becomes unavailable, so I should try to do every quest that's involved with it. I wish you well. I think I think we've we've chatted with him. I think we're good. Um I don't know if I've got um I think we're good on Dantween unless something's going to come up, which is possible. 
How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I wonder if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Oh, never mind. Of course. Yep, okay. So I can't talk to anybody yet. Um, so we're gonna fly to... Tatooine. And go have a chit chat. Uh oh. Freaking game. I hope that doesn't mess everything up in the freaking VOD. I'll be so mad. Travel is dangerous. We make the friggin' stream freak out with these cutscenes. Can you guys still hear and see? Wow, wow. I think usually when it does that, it goes, ha ha, rain. Usually it comes back pretty quickly. Once it drops. Oh, there it goes again. No! If this messes up the VOD, I'll be so angry! I'll be so angry. I don't know why it does that. This game is old, though, so I have to give it some leniency, I guess. Oh my gosh, really? Fenris' voice actor is in freaking Final Fantasy Champion? What? Okay, we're bringing Candris and, um... Wait. Add. Um. We can bring Jolie. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I hope. All right, looks like everything's all right. All involved. All right, where where do we where do we need to go? We have the sands of of uh, sands of this place. That's where we need to go. The moment he started talking, you gasped. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, I can level up Candorus. All right, that's probably good what? for a fight before we have a fight. Skills, uh, <laughs> demolitions, sure. Uh, feet. Oh boy. Um, Ooh, we got him like super beefed up. What's this? Sure. That's probably a good one. All right, and I think he's got, I think all of us have got what we need. What does this even do? Plus five to wisdom. Uh, I don't need wisdom. Awareness, breath mask, interface visor. Skills, computer use, demolition, security. Uh, I have so many. Sith mask, whoa. I don't have the prerequisites. Oh, I remember I remember in the edit when I was editing, I picked up a Sith mask from somebody. Saves will plus 2. Um, what do I freaking want? I 
feel like having my awareness up is not necessarily super duper necessary. I guess I'll put the neural band on. Joey can't have any of those. And we want him to be one-handed anyway. Okay. All right. Hmm? This is good. Holy cow, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it. Whoa. Dang. And I'm gonna just cut it off right there. So I know it took us a while to get here to Tatooine, but we're here and we're gonna be spending a, quite a bit of time here because it turns out there's a lot to do. Although it may not be super surprising because last time I had to leave because I was under leveled and kept getting ganked in the sands. So <laughs> hopefully you all enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.